right, Surfer Ray here, and it's the moment of truth. We did, uh, we grafted uh, 45 cells yesterday, and we got them in our starter. I use a starter finisher type configuration, so right now it's set up as a starter. And so I have a drawn out comb, a comb of young brood, then I have my frame of, uh, of queen cups, and then I have a pollen frame, and then another drawn out frame. And so uh, we put them in there. It's been about 24 hours, maybe about 28 actually. And so what we're hoping to see right now is that they have started to draw out a little bit out of each comb. And that there's tons of royal jelly. And this is how you want. You want to see bees all over the place. You want to see bees on all the frames platoons of bees on either side, you need to have tons of nurse bees to make quality queens. So we can get a good idea on our take, but what we see here right now, we wanna see Lots of royal jelly in the cups. And we want to see that they started drawing out these cells a little bit. Wow, look at that. You can see right here, they're drawing these all out. That one's good. This one's good. This one's good. These are all nicely drawn out. Of course, I don't have my bee brush with me, <laughs> which I could show you better. But uh, yeah, you can see that they're drawing these all out. All the ones that they're starting to dry out means they've accepted them. So like this one doesn't, yeah, maybe they're starting, but these two look kind of questionable. These all look good. These look good. That one's no. These are all good, good, good. And so, yeah, it looks like we're going to get a pretty darn good take. Yeah, these look all good on the top. So, yeah, there's only a few of these two right here that are, they didn't start drawing out and this one down here. So that's that's very promising. So that would put us at about 42 out of out of 45. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing back together. I'm going to put this in the center of this frame of this this upper box here. I uh, have the queen trapped down below this one, and we're going to turn this starter into a finisher. So we call this a queen right uh, finisher once we get these back in there, because there's a queen in there, and then the bees will finish drawing them out. And so that's what we're going to do right now. All right. So we use basically a um, inner cover that we closed off the lid and we leave a three inch entrance and we face it to the back. That way the bees can get in and out. So these are real mellow bees. We didn't even smoke them and I'm not even wearing any gear. So right now I'm going to take this all out. I'm going to pull five frames out of this one and then I'm going to drop those five frames back in there. Then we give them about seven days and we'll be checking them and uh, pulling them out around nine, ten days. And when I got a big incubator, I'm going to be putting them in into that. So that's what we got going on. We'll check back with you in about a week and see how many they've drawn out. In my experience, once they start them, they finish them, you know. Uh, very rarely do they not start them. So by looking at what we got now, it gives us a really good idea of what we're going to come out with. All right, Surfer Ray, NorCal Bees, thanks for watching. <laughs>